Looking back at a lot of my older videos today, and I noticed that a lot of them were about me complaining about how bad the Sherman is and how much I hated it, and then my journey from hating it to loving it. Now it's interesting to me because what made me go, oh I want to get through the Sherman, is because of the Sherman Firefly. Now I've got the Sherman Firefly, I'm thinking what the hell did I see in this goddamn tank? Why did I want this tank so bad? I cannot honestly remember what made me go, oh that's cool, I should get that. Just, just can't remember. Because honestly, I think I prefer the, the, the previous Sherman to, to this one. Being a tier 6 medium tank means that you're going to be going up against some really big scary things that you can't deal with. Um, and there's a lot of things in World of Tanks I can't deal with. I mean, not just tanks, like people just planning, shouting at each other and getting angry. And yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of, you know, potential problems in this game. But anyway, I've got the Sherman Firefly now. Damn it, I'm going to play it and damn it, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to just suffer through game after game where I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going and honestly airfield is, is it airfield? Yeah airfield. This is not a map that I'm particularly comfortable with. Not that obviously there are many maps that I am comfortable with and usual jokes about being awful but this is one of those ones where like this sort of network of valleys. I don't know as a medium tank where I want to go so I'm looking forward to that. Oh. Was that you, T-150, or was that- No, oh, that was something else! That was something else. Stop. Well, they've got tank destroyers or something over there. I mean, my view range is awful. Can I say again how much I like the addition of view range circles drawing on the minimap? That is so useful, because I can tell there is no way in hell that I'd be able to spot someone, you know, nestled in the corner of there. That's useful information to- Oh, that KV-1S, you made a mistake. Better the you than me. There, but for the grace of God, go right back to the garage. Wow, you are hidden well. Oh, shit. That T-3485 is on a mission. We've been bogged down in the, s in the middle and our oh, flank has collapsed. Is the Sherman fast enough to go and help it? Okay, so I'm pretty committed to this side, I think. I've just got to trust that the T-3485 thinks there's loads of people there and won't attack too hard. Do, 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 do. Hey. Did I just fuck that up? Yeah. Ugh, I know, buddy, there is, there is shit going down here. Okay, new plan, die with some dignity, let's just get the fuck out of here. My friends, this is a wash. The best thing we can do is reconsider all of our options. I mean, we're tied in terms of kills. Okay, we're ahead in terms of kills, but I feel like our map sort of position is very weak, you know? I mean, that's one thing I actually really, I think I've said it before, and I'll say it again, no doubt, but one thing I really like about Bob Tanks is, with 15 players aside, there's actually... Oh, okay, do something to him. With 15 players aside, there's a lot of sort of space for flanking and sort of big manoeuvres, which I feel in... Come on, Hedza. Be a dear. Thank you. In sort of like 5v5 style games, there's. Oh, hills. There's not as much space for kind of flanking and maneuvering, whereas in 15 aside, it feels like sort of there are fight. You can move from one side of the map to another and be in a really different sort of fighting situation. And are we turning this around? Have I spoken? Have I spoken too soon? Yes, the answer is yes. Oh, I wish we had an SPG or two. Submission. Oh, I'm still doing that. Just on. Now, 
Is the height of this tank going to help me here? Or not? Are you baiting me out? I mean, the answer is, yeah, you probably are. But while you're moving, you're not going to be aiming as well, so... Uh, run. Back up. <gasps> Cromwell's going to save me! Thanks, Cromwell. It's a bum brush this guy. Did I just hurt him? That's why I like my shot ricocheted. So, yeah, there you go. Um, I thought this was a loss. I honestly thought this was going to go badly. Our map position was... Holy crap! Okay, Sherman, you... Nice. Sorry, Panther. I am... What happened? I thought over there was completely... Just, I don't want to say fucked, but I thought that was a much worse situation than it was. Ah, oh, well there you go. Uh, do I cap? Oh, God, this thing's slow up hills. I mean, it's slow on flats. It's fast downhill, but you know everything's fast downhill. You can get a KV2 up to some good speed on the downhill slope. Well. I don't know if I should stop capping. I mean, I'll be honest, I like capping. I sort of go, you know, it forces the enemy team to to do something or they'll lose. There you go. Good job, guys. That Cromwell went crazy.